Hey and welcome, I'm Solo and this is ZN Gaming. In this video I'll be going over how to set up a merch store using 4th Wall. I cover the full setup if you're coming from Stream Elements Store, so if you wanted to check that out I'll leave a link in the description below. If this is your first time setting up 4th Wall, I suggest checking it out. To get started, let's just jump over to 4thwall.com. When the site loads up, over on the right, click Start Now. And it'll bring us over to the website to get us started. From here, it's just going to ask you to sign in. We're just going to continue with Twitch. If you're a YouTuber, use YouTube. If you if you want to use your Google or email sign in, all those options are available here. I suggest if you're coming from Twitch, though, to connect and continue with your Twitch. Authorize it. This will just mean it's going to be the same as your stream elements if you already have that set up. And it won't be a different login, username, and password. It's going to ask us a few things. What fourth wall is going to do, channel information, read your integrations, and create and update your... In so we're just going to click authorize on this here. We're going to let fourth wall do all of that stuff. Then it's going to say welcome and your name. And it's just going to say you're a few steps away. And it's going to give you a process down here that says create your first product. It's 0% complete. So what we want to do is we want to go through this here process of creating our first product. If you've already had a store, you're already going to have your logo. If you don't already have a store and don't have a logo, I suggest getting one before you start setting this here up so you have something to put on the products and stuff that you're that you're adding here. But from here, we're just going to click create product because that's the first step that we're going to do. This is going to give us three options. It's going to be design something new, sell something I have, or sell digital products. For this here, we're going to pick the design something new every single time. I think this is the one we're going to be always selecting. We're not going to sell something I already have because unless you sell merch that you already have being made, shipped to you, and doing all the shipping yourself, I suggest just going with the design something new and they're going to handle everything else. You won't have to worry about all the in-between stuff. So we're just going to give this one here a click. Now this is going to bring up a large list of merch and a bunch of different items you can select from. Now some of the things, some of the merch has the colors that are available underneath it. So some showing that they have no color available usually have a fill option or don't have any other option. So for the mouse pad, unfortunately it's going to be white with whatever you put for the whatever you put for the graphics, but it'll usually show the options that you have for color selection. So as you're going down through and selecting it, you'll be able to see what options it has before you click on it. As you can see these ones here don't have any colors, but the hat here has a couple of color selections. Same as some of the clothes. The sandals do not. And all we're going to want to do is go through here and select a couple things that we want to have on our merch store. They have a lot to pick from, so definitely scroll through and check out the items. Once you do find one that you like, let's say that you want a shirt or a hat, you can just select the shirt or hat that you're looking to get and add your design. For me, I'm going to go down here to this here sportsman tie-dye hat. We're going to give this one here a click. It's as easy as you can see the price that it's going to start from and it's going to show you the different colors that are available. You can click design now. Now this is going to have a couple of different options and some products have different options. This one here is going to show a lot of different things. You can add text, clip art, files. The file is where we can add our logo or our image. So once you pick an image, you can use icons and text and other things as well. But all you'll need to do is just upload it. It's going to give you here this here flat emboss or 3D puff for an extra $1.50. So I think we're going to just try that out just to see what it's going to be. And you can choose the colors. So we're only going to have two. We're going to have it outlined with black and the main color is red. There's a lot of other things you can do here. I definitely suggest going through this here and checking out all the different options. For me, I just want a couple of basic items to get started. And I'm going to get more and more complex as I learn how to use the system and learn how to set up my products. So for now, we're just going to click next just because we want a couple of things to get started. Now this here initial rendering is going to render out the hat and what it's going to look like with the icon on it. I do find this here very good and it's going to take a couple of minutes. Do not close down the web page while this here is going. Once the rendering is done, you're going to be able to take a look at kind of what it's going to... You're going to be able to take a look and see what it probably is going to look like when you get it done. So definitely make sure that you adjust your logo if it doesn't look right to you. You want to make it bigger or smaller. And this is just a good way to see what it's going to look like and you're going to need to add a name. We're just going to keep it simple, ZN Gaming Hat, that's just my brand. It's going to tell you that you're going to make $10 on sale. We're going to take this down to $20. We're not looking to make profit in our store, we're just looking to have a store. And we're going to click Publish now. Once you're done and click Publish, it will show it in the shop and what it's going to look like with your background. So if you have a dark theme or a bright theme, it'll show it in the theme that you have selected. From here, if you want to create another product, we'll click on create another product and go down through the list. There's a few other things that we're going to want. We want a hat. 
We're gonna select it. We definitely want the black version. We're gonna click design now and it's the same thing. This here only comes with two or three different options. And as you can see, this one here is a little bit different. You can click on the colors. You can select your colors. Some have it over here on an add button so you can change them. And then your artwork, which you'll be able to upload anything that you already have. For me, I'm just gonna select my icon, put it on the front and click next because I just want a hat with my with my logo on it and we're gonna just let it do the same thing. It's gonna initialize and render. This is gonna take a little bit for each item and then we're gonna name it. We're just gonna make sure that we give it a name and we're gonna publish now. It's the same thing, add a little description. You might wanna put more in here, but if you're just getting a quick start, you don't have to put a whole big complicated description in there, but you can definitely put some more in it than what I did. This is just gonna get me a basic start. I only want the one color. And again, we're gonna add a couple more things. We're gonna create on another product. And we're going to do a drink cozy because it has one of the other options. So when we click design now in this one here, it's going to give us some of the same options the first one did. But this one here does not have a color selector. So for this one here, we can go to the fill option and we'll be able to click one of these here options, which will make it a color. But this here doesn't allow you to have it in three or four different colors unless you go through and make it each individual color. So for this one here, we're just going to make a red one. I already have a black one made. So we're gonna go with a red one. We're gonna go to files and add image. And then we're just gonna center our image somewhere where we want it. This isn't gonna show up very good on red, but I already have a black one. And this is the only way I was able to add this in multiple different colors, was I had to go in and use the fill option, fill it and make individual ones instead of uh, some of them where they have the color select. So that's something to keep in mind. The drink cozy is one. If you want it in three different colors, you have to make three different ones. But it's just the same thing. We'll just click next and it's going to render for us. And it'll give us a really good idea of how the product looks after it's done rendering. I really do like that, that this here website does that for you. It actually gives you a pretty good view of what it's going to look like when you get it. But I definitely suggest clicking on samples and getting samples of your products when you're making them so that you know that it looks right because you can make small adjustments to your logos on your products to make them look better if you happen to see any kind of defects. It's the same thing. You have to make sure that you name it and add yourself something in the description and make it an appropriate price. Click publish now. And that's just as simple as it is. It's repeat for all the different products you want. It's the exact same thing. You're just gonna create another product, scroll down through the list, find what you want. There's multiple different items, lots of great stuff here. And just select the things that you want. But from here, we're gonna click on the FW over here on the side. This is gonna bring you back to your dashboard. All right, now back to the dashboard. It's gonna say we're 50% complete. The next thing we need to do is customize the look of our site. So I'm, I'm not sure if you can use your own website or not, but we're just gonna click here and see how it goes. We definitely want this here. Ooh, I like this one here. So they don't seem to have very many themes. I definitely think one of the dark themes is gonna definitely be best. <laughs> we're just gonna click live and click save. It has a few things, it has live, coming live, but we're just gonna put it live just so that we have this here for the example. If you click the FW, go back to home, you can always go down here to the site designer to change it later on to anything that you want. One thing I do suggest is to go down to the video banner and in here, it's gonna have your buttons and your heading. For me, I changed this here to ZN Gaming Media so that it would show this here in my website as well, but you can change the button text and the heading and add other text here as well. I definitely suggest updating this here. So we'll finish the setup process. You'll definitely need to make sure that you have this here edited, but you'll be able to change everything in here, your style, your page and your theme later on. So after you have it initially set up, you can go back in through here and edit and change things. And all of these here themes can be edited piece by piece. The style, the logo, in here in the logo, in your favcon. This here is what's gonna show up here in your, this here is the image that's gonna show up where this here FW is up here. So this is gonna be something that you might wanna do with your brand. I add up my favcon so when I open my store, it's gonna show all of my branding for my website and stuff like that. So in style, just go to logo and identity to add that. Now there's other things like your social links in here. I have my Twitch added. But there's other links that you can add for your social links. I suggest you filling this here out as well so that you have your YouTube, your Twitch, your Instagram, whatever else that you might have, your TikTok, so that they're all links here down at the bottom. And it's just as easy as clicking add the social link, add the YouTube, and then paste your YouTube link into here. So for me, I'm gonna put my link in. Okay, and it looks like you can't add two of the same ones. So if you add a YouTube link in, um, it's not gonna give you the same option to add another YouTube link in here. So definitely keep that in mind if you have more than one YouTube channel. But that's how you'll get your social links down here. 
And the next thing is your feature collection. You can click on this here and go through and you'll be able to select the number of products that you can show down here. I left it at 16, that's the stock, but you can put this here at 3, 5, 48, so all your products show here. Uh, you might not want to do that, you might want to do that. That's just, I just wanted to make sure that I cover where that is at. And it's just as easy as going through here down the drop down menu and selecting what one you want. Like I said, I'm just going to leave it stock. That is just one of the things through I wanted to make sure that I cover. Another thing to think about quickly is when you're going through your page, you can go up here and see what it's going to look like on a cell phone. So you can tell the difference between, so you can change if you find things aren't looking quite right on one of these here modes, definitely think about editing or changing your theme. But this is just a quick way to see what it's going to look like on your phone and what it's going to look like on a computer. That's really it for the editor. To get out of here though, just click on the FW over here. This is always going to lead you back to your dashboard. Another couple things to note is it's going to tell you all your th information that you need here. It's going to say your estimated profits. Um, when you need to create a new product, it's always going to be here. And you can connect your YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram shelf through here. It's same as ordering samples. Now this is something I definitely suggest. Once you set your store up, make sure you order a couple of samples and test your things out. It's also going to give you a referral link so that you can give this to your friends that are going to start this here up. Each one's going to give you $10. So if you happen to be into that and you start up the store and you happen to have a couple streamer friends starting up a store, give them your referral link. I think that's really cool. I'll leave my referral link down in the description below if you guys want to click it. I think that would be amazing. But I'm just going to leave it there so that it can be clicked with a couple of other links to my previous video as well. If you're coming from Steam, I do have a video covering how to set this here up from the Steam and how to connect it correctly and set things up. After that, it's just normal things. It'll, you can go through your products. It's going to show you everything you have. This is going to be an easy way to edit, delete, or change anything at all. You'll be able to see them all here. Um, your promotions, if you're running any, you'll be able to set some things up in here. I haven't done this here yet, and I haven't gone through it, but there is giveaway links that you can do through your Twitch stream as well, which I think is really cool, but it is going to be something that I cover at a later date. So if you're interested in that, definitely get subscribed and stay tuned if you would like to see that. The last thing I'll go over is your your analytics. This is just going to tell you how much profit you're making, your orders and things like that. So once you start selling things, this is going to be how you track your information. I haven't really sold anything yet. I just opened my store for this here video so that it didn't have so much crazy traffic that I couldn't show it. <laughs> right? I just joke. Mine has no info in it right now. But once you start selling items, it'll show everything that you're making in here and kind of give you a good detailed, give you some detailed information on that. We're going to go back to the home. After that, all you're going to have to do is come up with some really creative ideas for merch that you want and make sure that you have a couple of different pictures and logos and stuff. Your product doesn't necessarily have to have logos on it, but I definitely think it is one good thing to add to a couple of products. If you would like to see your store, it is going to show your link. It's going to say welcome back, your name, and your site is live. Make sure that you did click live on your site and click save, and then you'll be able to click on it here to go see it. This is going to bring it up what it's going to look like for other people. And as you can see, I have a wide selection of products that you can that you can select from. But once that's set up, that's really all there is to it. From here, it's just your whatever you think that you want for a product or any creative ideas that you have. For me, I put the everything as fine cup. I think this is a great idea. This is something that was community built. I definitely think that you should go for community built ideas, maybe even memes and stuff like that instead of having just your logo on stuff. So having a variety of things I think is definitely a good idea, not just your logo. Definitely keep that in mind when you're setting it up. But that's it for this one here. I hope that helped you out. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.